He Batman is a 1943 black and white 15th chapter theatrical serial from Columbia Pictures, produced by Rudolph C. Flotow, directed by Lambert Hillier, that stars Lewis Wilson as Batman and Douglas Croft as his sidekick Robin. The serial is based on the DC Comics character Batman, who first appeared in Detective Comics issue 27 in May 1939. The villain is an original character named Dr. Daka, a secret agent of the Japanese imperial government, played by J. Carol Nash. Rounding out the cast are Shirley Patterson as Linda Page, Bruce Wayne's love interest, and William Austin as Alfred, the Wayne Manor butler. The serial's storyline involves the Batman, a secret U.S. government agent, attempting to defeat the schemes of Japanese agent Dr. Daka operating in Gotham City at the height of World War II, serving Daka or his American henchmen. Batman is notable for being the first appearance on film of Batman and for debuting story elements that quickly became permanent parts of the Batman character's mythos, such as the Bat's Cave and its secret entrance through a grandfather clock inside Wayne Manor. The serial also changed the course of how Alfred's physical appearance was depicted in future Batman stories. At the time Batman was released in theaters, Alfred was drawn as a portly gentleman in the comics. Subsequent issues suddenly depicted Alfred as slim and sporting a thin mustache, following actor William Austin's appearance. The serial was commercially successful and in 1949, four years after World War II, spawned another Columbia chapter serial, Batman and Robin. New Adventures of Batman and Robin, The Boy Wonder, also known as simply Batman and Robin, is a 15-chapter serial released in 1949 by Columbia Pictures. It is a sequel to the 1943 serial Batman, although with different actors. Robert Lowry played Batman, while Johnny Duncan played Robin. Supporting players included Jane Addams as Vicki Vale and veteran character actor Lyle Talbot as Commissioner Gordon. The dynamic duo face off against the wizard, a hooded villain with an electrical device which controls cars and a desire to set challenges for the dynamic duo, whose identity remains a mystery throughout until the end. Suspecting that Bruce Wayne is Batman, the wizard captures him. Robin rescues him, apparently aided by Batman. Convinced that he's mistaken, the wizard now flees, closely pursued by Batman and Robin. Well, the wizard won't be able to use his remote control machine on us this time. No, but he probably knows a lot more tricks. They're gaining on us. Can't you go any faster? You'll have to get me another car. This is no time for humor. I see, I'll have to take over as usual. Green stopped him. Keep going. Nice driving, Robin. Now that I got my breath back, I can say thanks. Oh, we've lost a wizard. This road leads to the cliff where we lost them once before. Maybe we can catch them there. Car to the underground garage at once.
This is the place we lost in the last time. There's some tracks. The tracks lead up that road and then get mixed up with dozens of other tracks. The cliff is over that way. Made this trip lots of times and I still don't know where I'm going. Don't ever try to find out. here. Maybe they went up the cliff or down it. Doesn't make sense. I'll have Commissioner Gordon make a thorough search. Any houses near here? Only Professor Hamill's down by the shore. I think now might be a good time to visit Hamill. Why were you shooting at us? I didn't know it was you, sir. I was after a prowler who broke into the house. Oh. Look! Why, that's the man who broke into the house, sir. This is a private eye named Dunn. Have you got a good alibi for attempted burglary? Let's say I'm here on unofficial business. Let's say we go in the house and talk this thing over. If you won't talk, Dunn, I'll have to turn you over to the police. What are you doing in my house? Maybe the police will be curious about some of your mysterious activities. What do you mean? I'm a reputable scientist. Professor Hamill, the doctor warned you not to get excited, sir. Since you won't talk, Dunn, I'll have to search you. Go ahead. Have a light, Dunn. Oh, no, no, not just now. I thought so. Microfilm. You might as well tell me what's on it, Dunn. I'll find out anyway. All right. Contains photographs of blueprints that Professor Hamill took from the research plant without permission. Blueprints of what? Plans for a neutralizer that will make the remote control machine harmless. Those plans are mine. I developed them. I own them. The research Council says they belong to the government. They've offered a reward for their return. I couldn't find the plans, but the microfilm was in this desk. They belong to me. Any device that can stop the wizard's machine belongs to the authorities. I'll have my friend Bruce Wayne turn this over to the research council tomorrow. Come on, Robin. And that's the microfilm recovered by Batman. We're grateful to Batman. We'll have work started at once on the neutralizer. Oh, Batman has an idea in connection with that. What is it? He wants word to get out that the neutralizer parts have already been manufactured and that that microfilm shows you how to assemble them. What's the purpose of that? Batman has already arranged all the details with Police Commissioner Gordon. Sergeant, send in Barry Brown, the radio broadcaster. Come in, Brown. Well, did you call me here for the same old routine, Commissioner? Yes. 
You keep on broadcasting this inside stuff about the wizard and his plans. Where do you get all this information? I claim the privilege of any reporter to keep my sources confidential. But you could help the law by telling me. Look, I make the news public. That should help you. Yes? This is Parker. Can I see you? I'll be right in. Excuse me a minute, Brown. cooperate with me or not? I'll think it over. I wish you would. Did it work? Yes. Brown read the memo on your desk. Then he'll broadcast the news and the wizard will begin to act. And we'll be ready for him. This is Barry Brown reporting. Here is important news. The wizard will soon be unable to use his apparatus for paralyzing transportation. A device to neutralize his destructive machine will be tested today. An armored car will take the neutralizer to Culver Hills. I advise all motorists to avoid this vicinity. Good. Now listen carefully. In reference to the Brown broadcast, I want the following action taken. Did you hear Brown's newscast, Professor Hamill? Yes. They had no right to build that neutralizer. It belongs to me. He regret it. Get this prescription filled at once. Yes, sir. Brown just broadcast a big story. I know all about it. Can they really neutralize the beam from your machine? Of course. But I've anticipated this all along. That's why I've been working on... Never mind. That neutralizer must be captured and destroyed. But it'll be in an armored car guarded by police. My plan will succeed in spite of all their precautions. Batman. The armored car passed point number one, okay. Good. Pass the word along to the police cars along the route. Tell them to report anything unusual. Everything is all right so far. No cars following. We're approaching Blue Rock Canyon. All right, Robin. Keep in touch with me. Neil calling WP number one. Neil calling WP number one. This is WP number one. The armored car is approaching your location. We'll take care of it. Stand by. Ives, keep a lookout. Come in, WP number one. The armored car is approaching. When ours takes off by remote control, watch and see if it's followed. Right. Headquarters. Neil calling headquarters.
Come in, Neil. We've captured the armored car and the neutralizer. I know. I've been watching in my televiewer. Stand by while I start the decoy car. Take over. Not until the gas turns up. Come on, get in. Let's get the car off the road before someone comes along. Batman, this is Robin. The wizard's men have stopped us just east of Blue Rock Canyon. But the armored car just passed here. That was a decoy operated by the remote control machine. I'll let the police handle that. I'm heading your way, Robin. Be clear of gas now. I was driving into Blue Rock Canyon. We'll open it up there. Right. WP number one. Calling WP number one. This is WP number one. Say, what's going on down there? We've been tricked. Batman's pal has taken the armored car towards the police. Okay, I'll fix that. The wizard discovered how to make himself invisible? How can this dangerous new power be combated? See the thrilling answers in The Wizard's Challenge, Chapter 13 of Batman and Robin, at this theater next week.